A wonderful morning to you all. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malauti and I would like to introduce you to the hands-on pen testing course. This is module 1.1 of the video course. In this demonstration, I will show you an overview of the virtual pen testing lab in GNS3. Before we dive into GNS3, I would like to explain a few points on comparison uh, between physical networks and virtual network lab. There are a couple of uh, virtual software which you can use to visualize your network and your host. But there are a lot of advantages of using virtual networks. Some of the advantages are the when using virtual networks, you save a lot of money that is cheap to set up. You can save time and it's fast to use. You can create sub, uh, snapshots. You have less admin, it's easy to control and manage. You can even save energy and it's scalable. And some of the software is free and some of it is paid. But the drawback of using uh, virtual networks is, the first one is hardware limitations. The most important one is that you cannot simulate Wi-Fi connectivity or Wi-Fi pen testing. You also have uh, performance issues such as speed, processing power, RAM, which is memory. And of course, you have a single point of failure, which means if your host uh, does not boot or your host die, it means the virtual machines or the virtual network cannot be accessed. You might have some uh, licensing issues on proprietary hosts such as uh, Apple Macintosh, Cisco switches or routers, checkpoint firewalls and IPS. And proprietary operating system cannot be visualized easily and they need licensing as well. For example, the Apple Macintosh uh, needs a special hardware to, to be inst installed. Let's now go to Genesis 3 and show you how the lab might look like. Here I am Genesis 3. On my left hand side, I have a couple of um, appliances. So in your lab, network lab, you might have a Cisco router, a Juniper router. You might also have maybe a switch. And a checkpoint firewall, for example, a Cisco firewall, for example, uh, you might have a couple of servers, so that's a Windows server, um, a Reddit server. You might have something like a Windows 7 system and of course a Kali box that will do your attacks. So this might look like this. Let me rearrange. So here's an overview of a simple uh, network lab. Uh, that's you as a pen tester sitting here using a Kali box. You connect it to a switch, the switch that connects to a router. So this is the outside world. And all this part uh, highlighted, in, uh, highlighted in yellow is the um, internal network part of the organization. So you might have the DMC right here, protected with a checkpoint firewall. And there's another router that links you into the internal network. So you have 
uh, and IPS and Firewall uh, working together and we got some Juniper routers, more switches and here are the resources. We've got a Windows 7 here, a Server 2012 that is Microsoft, a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server and a Macintosh that may be one of your exec of the internal executive is using. So if you want to hack into one of the executives using a Mac OS, it means you, you will be sitting right here and your network path will follow like this. From here to the switch, switch to the router, bypass the firewall to the second router, bypass the IPS, uh, and pass the Juniper router, one of the switches, and finally to the executive. In this part of demonstration, I will uh, show you a couple of devices. So I will switch them on uh, one by one and navigate to show you um, that it's real and they can come on. So let me start with this Kali box. Okay, let me log in as root. Okay, I am logged into this color box and I can exit from here and let me switch on other devices. So I have to switch off that one and let's switch on the router and the checkpoint as well. Okay, the router has been switched on. So let's see what I have here. Um, if I do show run. That's a Cisco router. Okay, it's running version 15.4. So I can exit from there. Let's get to the checkpoint firewall. And let me log into the checkpoint. I am logged in. And let me set the expect password. Password. Okay, and become expect. Enter my password. Okay, I am in the expect mode as you can see. So this is the checkpoint and this is how it works. So let me exit from there and let me visit the Cisco firewall. Okay, it's a Cisco firewall. Okay, let me do that and I am connected to the Cisco firewall as you can see here. And enable. Okay, I am in enable mode and I can go to the configuration mode as you can see. Okay, so I can exit from here. Oh, let me show you the version that will be sure. Um, 
I want to show you the version that will be scroll down. Okay, here it is. I'm using the SA Firewall 5520 model. Okay, so I can exit from here. Let's check the IPS. Yes, the IPS. Uh, login. Okay, show version. Okay, I'm using the IPS 4240. Alright, so I can exit from here. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, let's switch on this Macintosh. Okay, the Macintosh has booted, so I can log in. Okay, so right now I'm booted in. Uh, so I'm using the Macintosh Mountain Lion. Uh, let's check what I have here. Okay, so it's version 10.8.3. That's the Macintosh Mountain Lion. So basically, this is um, this is how you set up a simple lab and I've shown you a couple of devices by switching them on and, navig and logging in. And finally, let me log on to this Windows machine. Let's log on to this Windows Server. Okay. So it's Server 2012. Okay, let me log in. Okay, I'm logged in into the server 2012. And basically, this is how you set up your lab, and you might do almost and uh, all the pen testing using GNS3. So that's you sitting there as a pen tester using Kali Linux or Backtrack and trying to attack this organization. So in the next videos, I'm gonna show you how you add these devices into GNS3. I hope this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.